Hi guys, welcome to the coaching section of uh, Zbubka Karate Jutsu uh, video library. That's a mouthful, rolling easy for off the tongue. Um, but today we're going to look at a student's learning to fall. So in my uh, uh, class, we've got quite a few people who are afraid of um, being thrown and landing. So I thought I'm going to do that uh, video. We went through the whole program. We're going to be doing more recording today uh, to show you how do I deal with um the hesitation and fear of being thrown because it's quite common actually for people coming into the class and uh, never been thrown before so um we're gonna see how that's gonna work so let's have a look on the problems that might occur uh, when people coming in and i make them in two different sections so it's a uh, psychological and physical on both of those we can take action and help people to overcome them uh, in my experience the psychological are uh, the first line of a problem and barriers the uh, physical one are, are less, less common uh, that all depends on the, which environment you are in and we're going to talk about it as well in a second so let's look at the psychological one uh, we all fell over when we're little. We don't have a fear of falling over. Gradually with uh, age, we are um, developing that fear of uh, falling down and getting injury. And that can be due to uh, just natural uh, behavior. So that's what you are, you're afraid of falls. Some people have a bigger fear, some people have a smaller fear. Uh, because we're getting less accustomed to falling over, we uh, rely on our systems to keep us upright and we know that when we fell over uh, we can get injured and this brings us to the second one which is the trauma so uh, either you fell over on a bike fell over um, walking or maybe in training and you've got a really bad association uh, with a falling down and landing so you will fear that landing gonna make you injure uh, the another one is that you've seen somebody being injured somebody done a high jump um, and you develop the fear of uh, falling over. So uh, how do we deal with that? So the helping people with who are afraid of falling over, you can uh, go through the several stages. So first one will be a description of what we're gonna do and explain how uh, that's gonna impact, what's gonna happen, how do you deal with that and just uh, explain to them that if they uh, are going to learn properly, they will most probably not hurt. But there's always a possibility of getting hurt and we have to accept that. Uh, the martial arts are a dynamic sport or art, whichever you prefer. And being thrown on the floor, not always uh, going to be successful and sometimes you might have injuries. But following the safety protocols, we can mitigate that risk to minimal. And it's rarely happening that actually people get uh, big injuries. It's usually a bruise and maybe a uh, winded reaction to be landing. So that's the first one. The second one is the demonstration. So you demonstrate uh, people how it looks like, what exactly happening, how exactly happening and why is it safe. And the third one will be uh, to assist them. So they're going to go, uh, let's say, low on the floor, uh, low on the ground. So it's going to be small um, throw. You taking it slowly and the coach is guiding. So one person is throwing, the other person is guiding. So I like to put the hand um, behind the head and hold the body. And then we're rolling them gently um, so they can experience that uh, break fall or a throw or a landing uh, much safer, right? So the coach's responsibility is to um, support the person and catch them if they do something wrong. Uh, we do a lineup. You're gonna see that in the next section, where the video section from the actual um, session. When the student's throwing, I'm standing next to them and assisting, pulling their head where it's meant to be, and if needed, pushing the body to give that momentum and flip. So I'm assisting both a thrower and a being thrown person. And the last one is to uh, build their confidence. So whenever they do something, praise them, uh, make them feel great about it, make them uh, want it to do again. 
So we're gonna do a, a section of a very small throws, a nice and easy break throws, where they can boost their confidence, land it, and then we're gonna progressively go up. Physical barriers. So uh, people can be uh, have disabilities or different um, injuries. Uh, some are permanent, some are uh, fixable. So we have to uh, realize that you know uh, some people won't be thrown. So like people with uh, advanced MS, you will not throw them because they are not able to control their body in a way that we want them. People with a cognitive um, implant, for example, which cannot have a uh, impact to the head or um, sudden movement, sudden shakes. Maybe people with uh, epilepsy will be not able to be doing throws. And you have to accept that, that not everybody in your class will be able to be thrown. And we can modify that. And the second one is a tensing up. People who are especially afraid of being thrown are tensing up. If you are super tensed up and you hit the floor, all the forces gonna go against you the best example is that uh, rarely drunk people get injured because they are so relaxed that they not having injuries in dynamic throw if you tensed up the forces working on your muscles can pull the um, tendons and rupture the muscles so it is very important to be relaxed and trust your partner a third one is uh, a structure. So um, when you're landing, there's a specific point. So you don't injure your knees, you don't injure your groin, you don't injure your arms. Um, we're going to go through that on the, on the video uh, of coaching. I'm going to be talking about that. But main ones are don't put your hands out when you're landing. Don't jerk your head back. Always call your head in. So you've got nice more uh, landing on the back instead of a head and a neck. Um, don't put your feet together breathe out when you're hitting the floor uh, another physical barrier it might be that the floor is hard so use the extra equipment crash mats um, bigger mats uh, lower the uh, height of being a throne and that all gonna help your students to um, get more used to it to the throws okay In this section, I have a look how we're teaching. So this is our session we'll be recording today. And we're gonna go from a break falls to being thrown from a person being on, on four, so very low on the mats. Then we'll be without mats. Then it's gonna be a kneeling down throw. So one person gonna be kneeling down. Everybody comes in and being thrown. Then we're gonna move on to the low um, velocity throws from standing up and then high throws with the uh, uh, big dynamic movements. So you see how step by step I am teaching my students to fail and feel comfortable with the throws. Today's subject we're gonna have a learning how to land and there's specific drills for it. We're gonna uh, do the structure first. So I'm gonna take you to them, okay? Uh, structure first. So <coughs> whenever you're landing, you want to be relaxed, not stiff. And when you're landing, the preferred position is in a split sit or sit out with the hands locking here and the head not on the floor. So I'm landing like this, okay? Or like this. So we're gonna do we're gonna do break pose in a second. But first we're gonna <coughs> accustom our hips to a feeling the floor. So we're gonna do a thing called a small scissor or a bad switches where you're gonna be switching one side to the other. Okay? So from here we're gonna go one switch, switch, switch. Okay? The second part of it is gonna be a thing called big scissors. So we're gonna be trying to make ourselves accustomed to land in this way. So from here, we're gonna sit in a split seat. This leg is pushing me. I throw myself up, switch. Throw, switch. In the back, sitting out, switch, switch. So my more body getting used to it, to landing in that way. So that's the leg, so we don't hit our ankles together, painful, knees together, painful, and for boys, 
putting legs together is very unpleasant sometimes when you clash. Okay, let's go back. We're starting with the break falls. Uh, we're going to start actually from rolling so people get used to it, to rolling, okay? So when we roll, we want to walk nice like children. Put your hands down, roll forwards, bend your head, and stand up. So you're making sure that you're not rolling on your head, you're rolling your neck. So I'm going to be here, going forwards, my hand goes down, roll, and I stand up. Okay? Same for rolling backwards. I'm gonna put my, make sure I'm putting my hands, I roll, push with the hands, stand up, okay? I'm going back, come up. So I'm making sure that I'm not injuring my neck. In, nice and smooth, hop, hop. If we're rolling forward and the student's got a problem because, like Sophia, I've never done it before, so you're gonna go in on your hands forward, I'm gonna put my hand here and help her with a push now. No, no, forward, okay? So she's putting her head as long as possible between the legs. Yeah, just forward. Here, and then. Ah. Yeah, yeah, come back. Come back. Just stand, just stand, stand up. Yeah. Reach down, open your legs a little bit. So wider, the legs wider. Yeah, now touch down to the floor. Head under, and I'm rolling her head. Okay. And I'm helping her, okay? Come here. Uh, stand in the squat, so back to body, squat down. Now, you bring your hands this way, okay. both like that. When you're gonna go on the floor, so I'm supporting her here, foot on the floor, hands on the floor, and now you go with your legs up. And then, I need to stop. Yeah, okay. Don't move it. Okay. okay, now rolling back. Uh. Roll back, roll back, roll back, roll back from your legs. <laughs> And I'm helping the students to go, yeah? Till they're gonna get used to it and they can do it themselves. From here, I want to go from one shoulder to the other. If students don't know how to do it, what we do is putting one hand, this hand goes between the legs, shoulder over, and I roll. If they're a bit more advanced, they roll improve here, okay? If they're super advanced, that's practicing the throw, try this. Can I use it for something? Yeah. You'll be stuck. So, Sophia don't know how to break for. She's got the psychological block, so she is not able to do it really nicely. If you need one like me, it will come before. So she's gonna put the hand here. This one just here. Head gonna go down, arm gonna go through, arm gonna help her here. Not, not like this, wait for me. Come back. No, I'm sorry. So from here, in the hand. Where's so I'm gonna pull the hand. You're gonna go on your shoulder. So head goes here between your legs, and now you roll. roll, 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 roll. <laughs> Don't block with that arm. Okay. So, so they do, do that. No, you're gonna go down. Oh, okay. So again, so this hand just supports you, but it's bent. Okay, it doesn't block you. From here, I'm gonna move you, and you're going this way, not the sideways. So that's it. Um, psychological block, right? We done it last week, but Sophia is still afraid of it, okay? So again, yeah. here, now, this hand goes here, yeah. head goes in there, and now you need to roll through that shoulder. So we're gonna go, go to the shoulder, 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 shoulder. Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah so that's how you secure student's head and pull it under, okay? Starting the throws, we're gonna want to be from the uh, slow level. So triple gonna come from this side. The key points for a student is you need to be relaxed, relax, trust me, and trust yourself. Okay? So when he's going on me, not me, he's gonna lay down his chest on me and put the head over. I'm gonna grab it under me as much as I can. Stand up, not me now. From here, so he's landing on me. He needs to be relaxed, he's breathing out when he's touching the floor and his head goes closely to, to my uh, shoulder. So he's going to look at me and put the head down. From here, I'm going down and I'm pulling him in. So there is 
nearly nothing to be thrown. It's just to get used to it in motion. Okay? okay? So again, he's coming in, I'm grabbing him, he's putting his head on me, he's relaxed. Down. Okay? If he's gonna get used to it, we can do it a bit uh, higher. So I'm not gonna be going down, I'm just gonna go from here. Boom. There's about that much more being thrown. Okay? If students are afraid, we can put matting, which we're gonna do in a second. But the key points are relax, breathe when you're landing, and hide the head. Okay? Can I use it again? So if I want to uh, throw Trevor, whichever throw we're doing, and he's gonna do opposite to what I said. So he's gonna be having hips sideways, stiff like a board. I'm gonna lift you up. What's gonna happen that I don't have a control of the throw, and he's gonna possibly hit the head, head down. Okay? Look how he's gonna change when he's gonna relax. So he's landing on me, he's gonna put his head close, I'm controlling, and now I can go. Nice and control his throw. He landed with the legs open, he controls his hand, head is up, I'm controlling, okay? So the person who throws is in control as well. So if I've got Trevor here, if I'm not gonna look when I'm throwing, he's gonna land, land somewhere there, this possibility is gonna hit his head. I need to give that control and I'm swooping him in. So I want to make sure that his head is safe. So I'm gonna be scooping him here and here. So I'm gonna be going here, as huge over exaggeration, but I can bring him up and control. It doesn't matter which throw I do, he can go over the head from here. I want to control him so he doesn't hit that head or doesn't land on the head. So I'm pulling in. One more time, go to this side. So I'm stepping in, breathing him in, and I make sure that I pull that up so his head doesn't hit. So for me as a coach, I need to make sure that students are comfortable, right? So you're going lay down on him, really, really tight. Wait, 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 wait. Here, I'm making sure if Danny doesn't have a good position, I'm making sure he's in a good position. When he's rolling, I'm securing that head. So he's roll, rolling here. I'm making sure that the head is not kicking. Again, Danny, don't protect yourself with the hand. Uh, do it again. So what Danny did, he put his hand out, which if he's gonna have it like this, well done from him, like this, and he's gonna lock it, there's possibility of injury here. So this hand stays there. He's gonna be hitting this way to block. But I'm helping him put, I'm helping him to... Okay, this person, thank you. That has been his first step, we're going to do an example. So, lay on him, flat, hand as far as here. No, wait, 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 don't put, you stay up. Your head goes this way, nice and tight, wrap right now, pull. Okay? So, you're trying to go this way, so you roll on your shoulder instead of rolling over his back. Go again, one more time. Actually, I do it here, so you can control the head. So from here, pull, hop in, wait, 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 lay down, head to me, like you try to give me a kiss, and then go here. Yeah? Yeah. Nice and smooth. So we're controlling that depth. Yeah. yeah. So grab her arm. No, no, like that, like that. Just grab her arm here. Yeah. yeah. Now your shoulder gonna go there. That's it. There you go. Nice. Chop, chop. Come on. But do it fast, do it fast. So grab, pull. That's it. That was fantastic. Sorry. Yeah. Pull it really quick. Oh. Not the same. Sorry. Sorry. That's why I'm here. That's it. The next stage is going to be going with higher. Okay, so this might be a shock to some. That's why we're gonna put the cr crash mat. It's not a real crash mat, but that gives you a uh, bit psychological comfort. Plus, it's a bit more plush, so there's too much. What we're gonna do, we're gonna kneel on one, one knee. This is gonna be a straight hip. 
not pen because it's gonna be taking you there, it's gonna be here. But leg is not forward, but it's sideways. The partner gonna come in, you're gonna grab it, and then exactly the same way we done earlier, you're gonna go here. Partner gonna do the same roll up is done, from the side view, not hit like this because I'm gonna collapse. Here. Okay, knee as much away so that people don't hit your head. Yeah. Okay, I'm just bringing my. <laughs> From here, higher throw, the, so the head uh, goes on this side. So it looks away, so it's nice and soft. This is much more comfortable. From here, I'm gonna go here, pulling in really tight. You can do a bit higher throw. If you throw it like this, you can go low and I'm gonna go here, nice soft. From here, I'm making sure that his body is to me. I'm tightly pulling here, my foot is away, I'm cramping here, and I'm bringing my head through there. And really so, throw. Okay? Straight back, not this, pulling forwards, head on this side. So you come here, and then now that you want to go. Here, look at the way. Here. Okay, ready? Steady. Yeah? More scary than me doing this. Here, make sure the head goes that way. Here, go. Good job. Then I come. Here, cuddle. Make sure here. So you feel, you've got a little bit of control, right? I feel that's going to throw me, okay? To the shoulder, right? It is partly because he's not feeling where, where to pull yet, but you've got that control, right? If you feel that's going to be lousy, that's another thing which you can control as a being thrown. If you feel that is a bad throw, you can jump, okay? So, if I come into him, Just jump over him, right? Because I felt it's not, yeah, I felt that the throw is not what I want. It might not be safe for me. I just do not agree. Okay? So the next stage is to get used to it to the height. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be throwing from standing up, but we're not gonna be throwing. The partner is gonna be jumping over and we're gonna have a game. Okay? Can I do it? So what's gonna happen? Is I'm gonna, we're gonna start with this one because it's nice and controlled. I'm coming in, I'm having a proper throw, so my legs are bent, I'm using my legs to throw, not lifting him here, I'm scooping in. I try to put my body away where he's standing, so it's away. Okay? From here, I'm hooking as much as I can, but as I'm throwing, he's gonna throw his legs, he's gonna land on his legs. Are you throwing? Okay, so he's throwing from him. No, then that from me. No, then that from me. No. Okay, so I'm getting used to it to be throw, but I'm not pulling him to the ground. I'm allowing him to land. So he's throwing me. Oh. So I need to do a full spin. It's going up. Okay? <laughs> there we go. So, we're going to partner up. Come in. Throw. 
He's standing up. He's throwing me. Oh. Oh, like you, sorry. This is a perfect. This is a perfect example. When you go this way, it's very dangerous. I need to stop. Hey, yeah, look at his spine. Look when his head gonna land up. Dangerous, okay? So you have to make sure that you do it slow enough so the partner got the here, head goes to my shoulder, looking that way out. Here or down. From here I throw him, he goes on his legs. He throws me, I make wait, wait. I make sure I'm flat. Oh, yeah, okay? More relaxed I am, more uh, chances he's got that he's gonna throw me over, okay? we can give a full throw. Or we're gonna do a full throw mixed with a kneeling throw. Can I use you? So in order to, uh, we're gonna use the shoulder throw. So the same rules, right? He's putting his head on this side, I'm putting this one over my shoulder. And as I'm pulling, I'm gonna go to sit down. This time I'm sitting on both legs. So I go from here, right, turn, kneel down, Okay, so that gives the student the feel of a long flight but a nice soft landing, right? So you go from here, something, 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 top, top, top to bottom, but very smooth. So from here, he's on the top, from here, I'm taking him, actually, he's on the ground from this. But because it's a quick action, the perception of the brain is that we're going long way down, right? So again, we're going to go from here, you're going to do it slowly. So you're going to in, grab, step down, boom. Or you can do it quick. Don't do that on the other side. Then from here, both are really nice and smooth. Okay? So same, you've got a mat, softer mat for you. Line up, everybody goes to me first, so you're going to feel how it feels smooth, okay? Okay. So, first time, so we coming in here, one, oh. next person. Head on my shoulder, oh, yeah. Put that hand there, there. Yeah. Oh. sideways, head, on sideways. Head on that shoulder. Yeah. Oh. Oh, sorry. You okay? Yeah. Breathe out. Too fast. Okay. Yeah. 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 Boom. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Relax, Scott. You're tensing up like crazy. <laughs> Sideways, you push it around. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. See how much easier it is? Yeah. Trust me. Relax. See how much easier it is? Yeah. You cannot hold some. Yeah. And a few things, right? So, lots of people, especially beginners, try to set themselves with arms. Um, I don't advise that on the beginners because they like to land with the open elbows. Uh, you, if you don't watch wrestling and stuff, there's a lot of people who are higher being thrown and they're putting their hands, but the difference is how they're putting their hands out. So, they're not putting their hands like this, they're putting them hands bent. So, if I want to save myself, let's say I'm falling on the back. If I do this, I'm gonna get injured, right? So if I'm gonna go here, it's fine, right? There's a very subtle uh, difference. I had a, a question from people when I've been swept on the wood floor and it looks like I'm hitting my hand. It is not, I'm, I'm getting pretty covered. So I kicked Trevor Gordon and he swept my leg and landing here. 
So I'm doing this, right? It's from, can you do it again and hold me? So I'm holding me there. Here. If I would go and do like this, that's my arm broken. But if I go like this, I'm doing softly, right? Because my joints don't lock up. But before you get comfortable with landing anyway, don't put your hands up. Okay? So you're gonna do a full throw now. Uh, let's do the uh, let's do the safe one. So from here I'm gonna go in, right? So I should pull my partner, go in, go in. He done it wrong because he clutched his knees. <laughs> yeah? But he should land in this position, head up, using that arm to protect. So relax and breathe out. Yeah? Again? Okay. From here, hold. Keep you doing that. Any problem. Yeah? Side, head up. And this one, this one doesn't really matter. Right? But all the way I relax, I am allowing my partner to control me. So I'm allowing my, my partner to control. If I can secure it, I secure it. Okay? And now we land it properly. There's three points. Breathe out. So you keep your breath in, you're going to be winded. So you're gonna, because diaphragm cannot work properly. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you're going to do throws coming in. Let's do the cross botox. Throw from here, going in bent knees, throw, spin, muscle that way. So the partner lays in front of your legs. Okay, from this side. So if I'm throwing from here, I will be looking on the camera. Okay, so again from here. Then I know he's gonna land here. Okay, we'll do it again. I'm not gonna look now on the camera. See the difference is that this two feet not where I want him. So here is possibility he's gonna hit the head and he starts winking and doing stuff, okay? So here. But now I from here. That felt safer? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we drop. So now I'll come here. Um, should we in one time or not? So when we have a leg and uh, hand. Yeah, you need the same time, yeah. Well, and, uh, your, your body is going to hit you first, gonna hit first, so you're going to hit it. Yeah, okay? So that's why we're doing that break fall. Yeah. Okay, all that spin with the shoulder before, okay? So let's throw a couple. So you're going to lie. Come to me, I throw first. Yes, yeah, throw first. So from here, I'm grabbing. I'm getting here, you see, very sideways. Roll to me, roll your hips, hips to me. Other way, that's away from me. Here, right? You want to be nice and tucked in all my life. Here, I go. Oh. Oh. Come on, yeah? yeah? So I throw you again, just for good measure before you go. <laughs> so from here, you must be. A right go. Right go. Yeah, okay, you throw me before you go. So you're going to place this one on the side, right? So, no. Yeah. Then, you see, you've done this, right? Can you see my hips? No. Yeah. I need this. This way. Right? Okay. And I'm throw. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Now, 
but you need a little bit, and you need, and I, when you pull me, yeah. you straighten the knees and pull me that way. Okay, okay ready? Yeah. Go. helpful I hope that um, you'll be able to teach your students um, easier to land and being thrown and being comfortable being thrown uh, if you have uh, uh, enjoyed this video and you have some value from it uh, feel free to drop me a message and recommend maybe short video from YouTube um, to others so they can subscribe to the uh, Karate video library we've got over 70 clips now tutorials and um, meditation and all sorts of things uh, if you like it please share with your friends and recommend um, to join in uh, if you've got better ways or different ways of teaching breakfalls i would love to learn about them so please feel free to send me email or message or whatever you would like to do in in touch and um, i see you on the next one